Good evening. Well, good morning, depending on what time it is there. When you see this video, welcome back. I haven't been here for a little while for a little while because um well I've been ill actually. <laughs> I've been ill. It's been <clears throat> excuse me. There you go, see. It's been a little bit annoying because I've been wanting to do uh some more content, be a bit more consistent, and then I had the the lurgy and I'm busy and all this sort of stuff, so it all rolls into one. Anyway, we're here now and I was gonna talk about the Champions League Fukuoka which uh, has just happened. This is our first opportunity really in a major to see what the next um, English set, the 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 set that's going to be uh, the newest set coming into EUIC, so it's very, very important, um, to see what, what's popular and what does well. Uh, and we, we, we can see here the top 16. Well, we, we're missing one, two, three, four, five. We're missing five, so we've got 11 of the top 16 decks here. And uh, yeah, Lugia won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lugia, god damn it. So Lugia wins and then Arceus box. The Arceus with the Alolan Vulpix comes second and then we've got a weird block lax. So, oh, what kind of block lax is this? No, it's just block lax. Oh, it's got, oh no, this is this is a bit of a control. Well, no it's not. It's got the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Oh, okay, so this is just... Why would you play that over... PKM then. Crabominable. No, it's rotating. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's so that's why you play Chi Yu now over Crabominable. Is uh, Chi Yu as Crabominable is no more. So you're gonna have to find a new way to discard up to cards opponent's deck, and that is Chi Yu Ex. So fine. Okay, so it serves the same purpose. So other than that, uh, got the more lost spots. We've got. Arc Tina, because apparently Lost Tina's not cool anymore, so we're going back to Arc Tina. Uh, there is an as one Dino box here, and there is a Future box there. We don't have the deck list for either. We do have the deck list for the 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 Great Tusk Mill. Cool. It's got that. Eerie. I don't. Oh yeah. Cool. So that's interesting. Uh, but other than that, yeah. It's not very interesting, is it? Let's be honest, it's not that interesting because who's to say that this format is actually going to shape our format? It's best of one and it's in Japan and there's plenty of time and da 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 da. So, anyway, more interestingly than that, is that the same competition, we got some new cards. We've got um, the new set here, Crimson Haze cards being revealed, and we can see this brand new um, Blood Moon Ursulana EX. Alternative art where he's just scoffing that honey down. I mean, what the heck? What kind of Pokemon is this thing? It's an absolute abomination. Anyway, it's our new Radiant Charizard uh, ability here, Elder Technique. This Pokemon's Blood Moon attack costs one colorless less for to use for each prize card your opponent's taken. So already actually not as good as Radiant Charizard. It does have a hundred more HP, but it does cost you two prizes on knockout um, and its attack five colorless. Uh, oh, it can actually potentially attack for free, though. Uh, 240 damage this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. So, in... Yeah, in a lot of ways, this is just a new Radiant Charizard. When, when Radiant Charizard eventually, in the next next format, which will be, what, Geon? I think it's Geon, yeah. Geon uh, format. We will lose Radiant Charizard, of course, and this will be the new Radiant Charizard, uh, quote-unquote. Yeah, so interesting stuff. It can attack for free, so that is something different to than Radiant Charizard. Radiant Charizard at least requires a fire energy. This one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So if your opponent has one prize card remaining, uh, Blood Moon will cost nil. Absolutely nothing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got that. We got a new Screen Tail. I believe it's the third Screen Tail. This is an EX, no? Though Sudden Shriek. You can use this attack only if you go second and only during your first turn. Uh, of the game during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any support cards from the hand. That's kind of annoying, to be fair. Um, I could see this bolstering. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried Dino Box slash Future Box yet. Um, it could be an annoying tech, actually. You already need more ancient Pokemon cards in the deck as it is. You can bit them off, and I suppose if you start with it, uh, you go second. You could just null your opponent from any supporter cards for a turn is it worth it for the two prizes well you know we'll see we'll see uh it also has crunch discard an energy from your opponent's active pokemon it's just, it's all, again really annoying you know get the double turbo on it do 100 damage and discard energy it's kind of annoying um 
we it might just be bulk we'll see uh, and we finally got an EX version of Iron Thorns. I always thought that you know, the other Iron Thorn that we're getting in the next set was a little bit, a little bit sad. So this is our, this is our, our next one. We've got initialize ability. While this Pokemon's in the active spot, opponent's Pokemon with a rule box in play, except any future Pokemon, don't have any abilities. So we got a little bit of a, an Empoleon V vibe coming out of this one. Uh, pretty cool. 140 damage. Move one energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So yeah, again, we do have the Empoleon V vibe there. Could it go into the future box deck? Potentially. I don't see a reason why not to. If Lugia gets more popular, we're going to need something like this just to kind of hold it down and put it in place. Um, even without any damage modifiers, it is just automatically knocking out a Lugia V star, which is very nice. So yeah, I'm already kind of sold on it actually. <laughs> I've had enough of Lugia. I've, I've had enough of Lugia. Um, yes, that's pretty cool. And then up next, probably one of the more important, uh, I would say, cards from this set already. Applin. Now, there's something special about this Applin. This Applin is a dragon Pokemon. Now, you may not have realized it, but I can't spell Applin. Every Applin up till now is grass. There he is, grass type. We finally have a dragon type Applin. Why is that important? That is important because of Flapple. Now we can see here Flapples. There is a grass Flapple. This thing is absolute dog water. But this, this is a good Flapple. For one energy, Acidic Mucus does 50 times the amount of uh, Pokemon in your opponent's side of the field that has an ability. So it can cap out that. Uh, just 300 for one colorless and this is huge no weakness no resistance for dragon glc i firmly believe that this is going to be one of the biggest turning points for dragon in glc you know dragon's already fairly good it's a little bit complicated because all the dragon pokemon have different energy costs etc but acidic mucus i think is just going to fill a spot in the dragon glc deck that we otherwise didn't have it's pretty much exactly the same as i think dark type have a weavile that does uh, maybe not no it does there is a, there's a weavile there it is evil admonition so for one darkness energy this starts 50 damage for each of your opponent's pokemon that has an ability so very powerful in the dark deck for glc same attack for a colorless so we're not worried about the energy costs either it's huge this is huge for the Dragon GLC. Now, is it any good? Oh, of course it is. It has Friend Search, such a deck for a Pokemon will reveal it. So even if you start with it going second, you could still do something with it. Really nice. And the other cool thing is Applin can evolve into three different Pokemon. So not only do you have, um, Jesus Christ, what is he called? Flapple. You also have Appleton. There he is. Uh, he has thick, thick mucus. So if you're, it might be a nice tech if you're worried about the colorless. Um, a lot of GLC decks do run special energies. Maybe not enough to make thick mucus worth it. But he also has this other thing here, which I've never seen. Diplin. I think this is new. This is like a toffee apple. Or this one. Um, Diplin, GR, so grass and fire, candied catcher. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot, and it's a 70 to new one. So drag off, I think, is what we used to call that back in the day. So really cool. Um, obviously, Flap was the best one. I don't even think you would need to play any of these other ones, but it's nice to have the option. So we've got that. That's huge stuff so we're very excited for that we have a new fiona i haven't actually seen any of the other cars after that i just saw F F applet and i was like it's gotta happen right fiona beckon put his support card from the disco into your hand oh great so just give um control even more stuff to work with perfect energy press 20 times this touch 20 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon useless but fine okay could be good in glc once again let's not get too excited though perrin Reveal up to two, oh, I know what this does. Reveal up to two Pokemon from your hand and put them into your deck. Then, search your deck for that to the up for up to that many Pokemon. Reveal them, put them into your hand. So, this is a supporter double uh, communication. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> communication, Pokemon communication, classic card. It's been around the block. I do remember when it first came out. Choose one Pokemon with your hand, stick them back in the deck, get another Pokemon out, shuffle your deck. Perfect. This, of course, is two for the price of one. Um, it's, a, it's a lot, isn't it, for a supporter, especially when we've got so many good supporters now. So not the most important thing, but it's here. The next most important card, of course, in 
So Enhanced Hammer. Now Enhanced Hammer just discards a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This was a pretty big card um, while it was out. I don't even know if I was really playing when Enhanced Hammer was around, but Jesus Christ, you got to be joking me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this, so this is after me. Yeah, I never really saw a lot of Enhanced Hammer, but I can see the use, especially... If you're like me and you're a big Roaring Mooner, um, with the new energy coming out that uh, stops, your stops your Pokemon being affected by effects of attacks, i.e. Frenzy Gouging, the Enhanced Hammer could be quite big if you're very worried about that being a thing, especially with something like that pesky Lugia. No doubt it's got the energy. Mist Energy, that's the one. So Mist Energy stops your Pokemon from being uh, affected by effects of attacks. Um, yeah, so if you come up against the Mist Energy, you can just enhance Hammer that way and then absolutely um, stick it up their backside, as it were, which is really cool. Looks like we've got a new stadium here as well, Community Center. Once during each player's turn, if that player has already played his sports from the hand, they may heal 10 damage from each of their Pokemon. That's kind of niche. Mm, is it going to be useful? I don't know. It depends on how good spread is. Spread's not very good. Spoiler alert. So maybe going to be sat in the bulk bin. Caretaker, draw two cards then if... Oh, okay. God damn it. Draw two cards then if Community Center is in play. Shuffle this Caretaker back into your deck. So we've got a nice Caretaker Community Center engine there for all of the juniors who don't want to win any games. They can do that and have fun. Very good for them. Now we've got Lucky Helmet. If this Pokemon card it's attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if they're knocked out, draw two cards. Yeah, just keep giving more stuff to control, I suppose. Control's good, guys. Control's really good. If you're going to the World Championships, I'd probably just say Control's could very much... All right, let's do it. I'll just stop myself mid-sentence. I've got, I've got a prediction. I'm predicting it now. Control wins worlds. There, said it. I've said it. I can't unsay it. I'm just going to throw the video out there. I've made a world's prediction. I've, I've never... I've not made a world's prediction since... I'm not going to have to find it here. I'm going to Google. Uh, what was it again? It was a Scizor Toxicroak deck. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I was, we were at League, I don't know, flicking cards as you, as you do. I'm reading Scizor. I'm reading Scizor. Whatever. It's mid. I'm reading Toxicroak, it's mid, and I'm like, eh, man, I could win Worlds. You know what it did? I'm pretty sure it won Worlds. I have not made a prediction since... Why would I go back? Can we go back here? Intimidation, is that it? There's, that's the deck, right? Intimidation, yeah. So Intimidation is deck used by Junior. The deck was built... Yeah, but did he, did he win? I don't know. I think he won. The The point is, I've made a prediction now. I've predicted it. I think it's going to happen. We are going to see Control win the Honolulu 2024 World Championships. Calling it now. Moving on. Unfair Stamp. There we go. This will be fun, won't it? Uh, it is an A-spec. We've got another new A-spec now. Each player shuffles their hand into their deck. Then you draw five cards and your opponent draws two cards. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think that's... It's called Unfair Stamp, but I think it's kind of fair. It's an A-spec anyway. This is like a like a, a, a cool version of a uh, Reset Stamp. Uh, more... Uh, I say better, but harder to find version of Roxanne, I suppose, technically. Um... You know, you can't find it with Poke Gear or anything like that. You just got to find it. Uh, this could be interesting. This could be really. In this could be a really interesting A spec, especially since there are so many good A specs now. I mean, we have obviously the, the hardest hitting A specs, such as uh, uh, Master Ball, which was used. Where is that damn thing? The dot. There it is. Yep. So Master Ball is currently the best A spec. It was used in the winning deck. Uh, for that format, and then we've got the other mid ones, like the counter crack catcher, the one that's like Guzma, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see if anyone actually does go for unfair stamp. I can definitely see it. We've got, we've got here, we've got some pack art, really pushing that Ursa, Ursa, Ursa Madugi. And it looks like we've got the, um, some kind of sinister shenanigans going on here. I know that 
Pokemon are enjoying manipulating their current Pokemon instead of making new ones. So it looks like we've got a manipulated Sinistee there. Someone definitely knows what that is. Do tell me in the comments below what that thing is. I'm interested to know. Uh, and that's, do you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waffle too long today. I just uh, really want to go through that. Uh, that's it. That's the video. So if you're done, which you are, then uh, go about your day. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of narc. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.